Hey guys, how's it going? Ford, that's my new wheels. Like I said, that's the uh, new 2017 Ford F-250. Super Duty, 6.7 liter power stroke diesel, XLT. I absolutely love this truck, but enough of talk of that. What I've been doing all weekend, we're preparing to start a new build, as you all know. And so far, so good. We've got our parts truck. Now, we've done a change here, and um, I'll explain that. But uh, that's what's left of Blake's old truck. Um, this frame has a bonded uh, ownership, which means it's been hit and rebuilt. And I don't like that because we could get into structure issues and structures with safeties and stuff like that. It might not drive correctly, which the previous owner said it did. But um, this guy spent a lot of money on this truck. And the reason why he spent a lot of money on this truck is he had the engine rebuilt in it. And uh, that engine there, I talked to the previous owner, he still has all the build sheets and the bill of sales and everything else uh, he's gonna bring over. But uh, other than a little bit of diesel fuel that's on the ground, uh, this thing has been uh, rebuilt. There's less than 60,000 kilometers on this engine. And uh, you sure can tell, because if you look in the valley there, that thing is just nice and clean. The whole thing is nice and clean. Um, this engine has a potential problem. Nothing mechanically, it's in the exhaust. When we first got this thing, we could hear something leaking. We weren't sure exactly where it was. And it's right here. That uh, exhaust uh, flange bolt is broke, which is leaking exhaust all over the place. And that will give you a performance issue because you're not getting the correct pressures to that turbo to run it. So we're going to update this thing the same way as what I did with the others. Because I'd rather do it now and you can see where it was. it's leaking right around here. And there is a broken uh, manifold stud. So we're going to take them all out and we're going to replace them. We're going to replace all the... Uh, all the uh, studs and nuts and all that happy horse shit. But um, either than that, this is a really good score and I got it cheap. But um, yeah, so there's that. And uh, this thing here, and then you got the transmission hanging up at the back there. And I'm not gonna get rid of that right away. A, a friend of mine that owns a transmission shop, Kevin told me don't get rid of that transmission. Because apparently they, the cores, even if they're blown, they're still worth 400 bucks. So he said that he would be interested in buying it. And so I said, yeah, okay, no problem. Um, because that puts a little bit of money back into Blake's pocket that he can put towards his truck. So that's what we're going to do there. But we still got a little bit of work to do here. We got to take the front end apart. Uh, Blake got another truck. It's a 2003 uh, Ford F-250 four-door Lariat. And we got, off, we got that truck off a buddy of mine, Jim. And uh, there it is right over there. And um, it needs some body work. And uh, it has a broken spring in the front. But we got the parts off of that one. So we're going to do a, a body job on it. And uh, make her look good, good, good when we're done. But the thing is, is the box is all straight and actually the frame rails are all there. So that's a bit of a bonus. But it uh, even has a nice front end, nice grill. And it's got a straight bumper, which I like. But uh, yeah, she'll look pretty cool when it's done. But uh, just the engine's tired. That's the only reason Jim got rid of it. Uh, it's pulled horse trailers all its life. It's got almost 500,000 K and Jim says there, he had the transmission redone last year. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, decided that it was time to hang it up. But the thing is, is Jim, he likes a 7.3 liter so well, he actually went out and bought another 2003 that was completely restored with new engine and everything. Actually, he was looking at it the other night. It's a nice looking truck. So, it's a start for him. It's basically 
this is gonna, probably going to be the last build I do. Um, only because it's a hell of a lot of work. And I'm used to Chevy and the gas truck out there was fairly simple to do. Putting a gas engine in is a lot easier than putting one of these in. These things are big and bulky. And um, to get these engines out, you have to lift the cab. There is no other way of getting this motor out because you can't get the oil pan past that. But there is a way we're going to do it. We're not gonna take the cab completely off. We're just gonna raise it. Just enough so we can get it out and get it set back in and set the, set the cab back down. But uh, this one here was easy. We weren't keeping the cab because like I said, the cab was, it's structurally, well, it needed a lot of work and I wasn't gonna into that. So I just grabbed the forklift and opened the windows and lifted her off and bobbed your uncle. And then now we're just in the midst of just tearing the rest of the chassis apart. The uh, fuel tank, the exhaust system, the front springs, which he needs. We're gonna give his truck a four inch lift and uh yeah it'll be really really nice give it a body job and she'll look really really nice when we're done but uh like i say i say that now it's my last build but i don't know we'll see what happens but uh i'm gonna send those rims a lot of people they they look at these rims like oh they're screwed right because of the pitting and stuff well all that is is just a uh, clear coat okay i have a really good friend of mine chris ruska that uh, can strip all that off, repolish those things, and they will look like brand spanking new. So if you guys uh, need aluminum polishing done, my buddy Chris, he can make anything look really nice. He's really good at aluminum polishing. So I'm gonna send those to him, get them all cleaned up, and then put Blaker's uh, tires that are on the other truck, because they're practically brand new. Jimmy put them on last year. but. <clears throat> this is just the beginning stages i know we're a little early i just wanted to get this thing tore apart so we have the parts ready to rock and roll when uh we're ready to pull the trigger on that one and like i said i kept all the major components like kept the pcm i kept the computers i kept everything out um up there in the corner there's the radiator and it's brand spanking new and the uh the intercooler is all brand spanking new because of the uh, the hit that this thing took. So there's uh, some money up on the shelf there. So if anything ever happens, at least we have spare parts. And uh, like that's what the, all these boxes are too. Along with my tool table. This is basically how I lay my stuff out when, I, uh, when I'm doing a build. But yeah, we got parts and stuff like that. That thing, I'm just gonna skid it and set it down I'm just waiting for some of the oil to finish draining out of that thing so I can get it out of here but uh, anyways guys that's where we're at um, please stay tuned for build number god knows what I think it's number four number five and uh, this is actually the first uh, seven three turbo diesel I've ever done but I'm not scared to tackle anything and to be honest with you, the way this thing came apart, it's simple, simple, simple. Everybody says it's simple. Well, it is simple. The hardest part is just basically raising the cab enough to get it out. Because there's, on uh, the back side where the turbocharger is to the back firewall, you have to raise this engine almost six and a half, seven inches to get it out. And there's no room. So that's why you have to raise the cab up so you can get this out. Now, you could take off the turbocharger, but why do that? It's actually easier to uh, take the cab or lift the cab up trying to get to these, these back band clamp mounts. It's a pain in the arse. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If uh, anybody's got any suggestions or have a little bit more experience than what I do on this, like I said, uh, this is just something that we do. We don't do this for anybody other than us. Um... Every truck I've ever owned, either than my new one I built myself, and uh, my 15-year-old, this is for him. And um, because in that way he learns as we go, and this is a great experience for him. Because hopefully someday he'll take over this, which I'm hoping. I'm not pushing him, but we'll we'll see what happens. 
Anyways, guys, cheers for now. Stay tuned. The fun's about to begin. Cheers.